and welcome back to the homestead for another video. In this video we're going to be making a Celtic cross and I'll be tooling this onto a piece of leather which will be the outside of a custom wallet making for a customer. So I'll start out with a piece of paper that's the same size as the area that I want to put the cross on and just freehand using my compass and rulers I'm going to draw out my design and once I get that design finished, I'll transfer it onto some tracing film and then use that tracing film to lay on a wet piece of leather and one more time draw on top of the tracing film and that will leave an impression below on the leather, which then I'll take my swivel knife here and cut the design in. Now we begin the tooling portion. I'll start with a beveler. I'm going to bevel the edge I want to knock that edge down and I want to make the cross itself proud of the leather behind it. I want it to pop out. I want it to, to jump forward. This whole process from beginning to end took me about two hours to design it and tool it all the way out to finish. So after we get the outside beveled, we'll begin working on the inside. And I'm just using a background tool here to really make the braid there pop forward. So I want to subdue everything behind it and we'll bring that braid forward. Here's the uh, look at the finished product. Okay, so we're going to add some color in here, and I'm just using a water stain. This is the same water stain that we would use if we were going to color a whole piece black. Just using the paintbrush to get it in there, get nice fine detail. And I'm going to paint everything on the cross except for the braid. And the black here is going to tie in with the inside of the wallet, which is going to be some black leather. And exclusive of the cross itself, the front is going to be a rich tan color. And we'll come back in with water stain later. And I'll use a brush around the cross to try and keep it from contaminating the edges, which I'm going to leave natural. And then uh, once I get out into the open areas, I'll use my sponge and, and really get it good with the water stain. So that's the finished product with the black. And I'll show you here is after I put my maker's mark in the corner and then this final picture here will be after the product is all finished. Thanks for stopping by. 